Hey guys, Blognator36 here, doing a little redstone tutorial on the TNT cannon. Just don't mind that thing in the background, something I was working on. And yeah, now this TNT cannon may look familiar for some, well, for some people who made these cannons ages ago, like a really long time ago. Though the difference is when you load this cannon you only put two pieces instead of four pieces. And you put one piece at the front and I've got these repeaters here. And actually oh well, this is this is the one where you only need one lever to do it. So this is sort of the less manual type one. Boom. Yeah, pretty cool. And then if we come over here, this is the one which has two levers, so it's a bit more manual delay type thing. Still has repeaters, but you don't necessarily need them. And you can make it shoot further, so I think I prefer this one, though you may prefer the easier setting up one. And this, I'm not exactly going to show you how to build this one, but because it's it's kind of big yeah I've got I've gone to the limit of water as you can see I've put in quite a few repeaters I did have a li long line of repeaters so I got rid of some see whether I could affect what it does but I can so I'm going to show you this oh yeah and also I'll show you um, a little trick on that one to make it more powerful once we build it. Okay, so this off. This is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't really see where it lands. It's more of a sort of shooting up and destroying someone's castle in the air type cannon than. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to build this and the one with the one lever but that's really easy to modify so let's go um... you're gonna need col you're gonna need um... any block you also need a stone slab a water bucket just one couple of levers a few redstone repeaters at least three pieces of TNT and some redstone so you put one block here one two 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 three three four four five five we're just gonna do a five limit on this one you can make things like this and stretch it out to its limit but you just saw that wasn't very useful it didn't even make a hole in the ground if it did it went very far so yeah I'm just gonna keep it to five and then at the end you can put a half slab get water put it there then one block on top, one block over, and one block there. So it's kind of a small corner slash L shape. And now we're going to redstone, yeah, redstone. So you're going to have one lever here, which is going to power the redstone, which powers your TNT to fly. And one here, which powers this bit of TNT. Make sure these are both off. Yep. Yep. Okay, um we'll do this bit first. It's one, two, three, four, because there's only gonna be two pieces. One, two and repeaters. These don't really need to have ticks because we're doing a slightly more manual one. And then piece of redstone here, piece of redstone here. And that's going to power that TNT. Put two TNT in here, and that's it. That's that's how you make the easiest one, I guess. Then, mm, pretty cool. And now to make the less manual one, you just take out this. I think I I always do this wrong. Yeah. Um. Take up that, put that in there. And then you just reload your TNT. And
and click lever. I guess this one you can't really go wrong. Oh, that that kind of failed, really. That didn't work very well. This should probably I'd recommend more delay on the less manual one. Otherwise, you're gonna get what just happened there, which is it's not gonna make a big hole. So yeah, unless you want to do that, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna change this back because I don't like it this way. Okay. Now, making it more powerful. Now, to simply make it more powerful, you don't even need to really change it. You just need one more piece of TNT. So instead of putting two here, we're gonna put three. And this is the same trick I used over here, where I put um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of TNT. Though here we put three pieces, and this this is more powerful. So the two pieces stand around here. Let's see if we can get further than that. We should be able to. Okay. Um. That went wrong. Okay. And one one thing one thing you must make sure of is that your redstone goes all the way along to the third piece, which ours didn't, so it didn't work. We'll just use one of these over here. Yeah, so you've got to make sure sure to extend your redstone, otherwise that happens. All three pieces goes much higher as well and if I'd let that delay more it would have landed and yeah but what I did do was over here this is this this worked over here where is it okay so I built one over here and first I did it with two pieces and it landed uh, in here and I did it with three pieces and it went straight through boo, the roof and land in here. Come Yeah, this is my test village. These are the bedrock attempts. Not very good. So yeah, that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and bye bye.